So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna create a new thread, a background thread in Android Studio. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something in the background. So this can be useful if you're maybe doing the URL fetching, you're going and doing something on the network, maybe you're using some Amazon Web Services features and functionalities and, you, and it's required for you to do something on the background. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, we, first, we need, we're, first we're gonna use a sync task so we'll create a new class, private class, um, long running task. And there you are. Let's go ahead and instantiate that. So new long running task. Uh, and there we go. Everything's nice, right? Well, we haven't really done much. Let's go ahead and this, this new class down here in the long running task, we're going to extend a sync task. And this takes some parameters. We're just going to void, void, void and that is with a capital V and you notice we'll get an error here so I'm just going to put my mouse over that and do alt and um, option enter 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 and that will go ahead and create a new so a new method called do in background so this is where you put your code so let's do um, a let's see so you do your stuff in there there's one thing we need do need to change we need to up, up at the top here we need to put dot execute and we'll just pass in nothing for there. So basically once it goes, the app starts up in main activity, it extends app compat activity. We go into the onCreate method and from there we open up long running task and we execute it. Long running task is going to come down here and say, oh, it's extending something. What is it extending? It's extending a sync task and it has some void parameters there. We won't go into what those mean in this video. But the important thing to note is the method called do in background. This is where you actually do something. So let's see if this works. Log D test. Um, so log D, now we need to do at the top. Log T, enter. And there you go. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna reformat it. Everything's good, save it. Now I'm gonna run it. So let's, this will take a second to run because I haven't uh, run this, uh, let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Android Monitor and see if we see it somewhere. And here it is right here, AWS call. I think that's what we named it, let's see. Yeah, AWS call, so here it is, so it's being called. So, but the main thing, the main advantage to this is that everything inside of here is on a background thread, not the main thread. So if you're doing, if it takes say 10 seconds for your net, for your you to fetch a URL, that's crazy. But just say it took you 10 there, take say it took you 30 seconds to parse this URL or to fetch a URL, it won't block the main UI thread on Android. But you're probably wondering, well, what do you do once you get that data back? Like say you want to go fetch something, and that might take a it may take a one second, it may take two seconds, it may take three seconds. So how do you do that? Well, there's some other methods. So on post execute, this is on the main thread. So you can do update UI UI there. But there's also something else called on pre executes. And on pre execute, you can do something like um, let's see. So you can start a loading icon there, maybe let the user know something's going to happen. So this is, uh, well, let's go ahead and do something for fun. Let's do log D before task. And let's do, let's do lo, uh, log D after task. So I'm going to save it, format it, save it, and run it. And I'm going to go back to my Android emulator that I have up here. It's a 5X. And now let's go into our Android monitor. And we should see them in the right order. So first we see on pre execute before task, then we see do in background, then we see on post execute after task. So all of this is going on in the right order. So you have that's the main network thread, the background thread, the main thread. So that's how you create a multi-threading app in Android and Android Studio. I hope you found this useful. If you did, like it or share it, and I might make more if you know if it's popular enough. But anyway. You know, thanks for everything, and this is how you create a new thread. Uh, you can do whatever you want in the background thread inside of Android Studio with the Android SDK.